we're going to look at the first uh, of the elements of art. <clears throat> the elements of art are basic ingredients uh, in any image, uh, be it a two-dimensional or three-dimensional object, that <clears throat> make up uh, the work of art. That is, they're elemental and that they can't be broken down further. <clears throat> the first one we'll look at is line. And line has two functions. One function of line is to depict the edges of form uh, and shape. Here's a drawing uh, by an artist named James Jean. And you can see that contour lines depict what we think of as outside uh, or outlines. We look at uh, this figure here, the back of his uh, jacket, or the outside edge of the arm uh, or the face. You can see a lot of uh, outside contours uh, in this uh, image. Also, it depicts the interior contours. We think of uh, the features of the face as interior contours that are inside of the uh, outlines. <clears throat> Another function of line is to convey uh, direction or movement. And in this case, uh, there is no line. It is the alignment uh, the arrangement of shapes that creates a strong diagonal movement going this way here. This is a painting by Theodore Jericho called The Raft of the Medusa. Um, and uh, I'd like you to follow this link and watch a short video about it. But we can see the way these figures are aligned. Here we've got this figure closest uh, to the bottom uh, left of the image. And if we follow the leg up, you see how it connects to this figure and how it's arranged to this figure and how it's arranged to line up with that figure. And we follow this figure's arm all the way up to the top here where this figure is flagging uh, the ship uh, in order to be rescued. And uh, kind of similar to that in, in, in a kind of a opposite movement, you have this diagonal, we follow this figure up, which connects to this figure, which again takes you up here. So you have a strong diagonal movement from the viewer's foreground space up in the distance to the top of the image back there. And that's a linear movement. And that's a direction line that's not an actual literal line, but it is made up of the alignment of shapes of figures here. Uh, edges and contours in three-dimensional art can also convey line. Here's a sculpture by Alexander Calder. Uh, this is uh, in Chicago in the Loop area here. And you can see that there are obvious edges, that is metal, sharp edges in the cast iron <clears throat> that act as lines that run through uh, the image or the sculpture. 